Computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial GCSE mathematics everything you need to know to get you ready for your exam without further ado let us start the video so in the previous tutorials we have looked at arithmetic with whole numbers addition multiplication in this tutorial we are primarily focusing on division so let's bring the numbers into the frame work example number one 3104 divided by 8. How would we do this? So 8, 3104. And so how would we work with this? Well, what we need to know, how many times does 8 go into 3? Zero times. We carry 3 over to the top. How many times does 8 go into 31? Before I work anything out, I would look at my times tables, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and so on. So, 8 goes into 31, 1, 2, 3 times with a remainder. What is the remainder? 7, and so we know... It's 3 remains to 7. How many times is 8 going to 70? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8 remainder 6. And so how many times is 8 going to 64? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Remain to 0. So the answer in fact is... 3104 divided by 8 gives us 388. Let's now look into another worked example. 280 divided by 2.5. Can we do this? What can be done in a situation like this? 80 times 10. 2.5 times 10. Let's work with whole numbers and not decimals. That gives me 800. This gives me 25. And now we have an easier way to solve the question itself. So, 25 square root of 800. How many times is 25 going to 8? Before we do anything, 25, 50, 75, 100, and so on. And so 25 goes into 80. 25 goes into 8 zero times. Carry the 8 over. How many times is 25 going to 80? 1, 2, 3. Remainder, 5. How many times is 25 going to 50? 2 times. And so that's the answer. 800 divided by 25 gives us 32. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.